In this video, we're going to talk about circles, their graphs, and their equations. Just a quick reminder that if you haven't already, turn the notifications off on your phone so that you can pay close attention and really focus in on what we're going to work on together in the video over the next few minutes. We've been working on writing equations of lines. We're now going to expand our knowledge to include writing equations of circles. In order to write the equation of a circle, you really need to know two basic facts. The first of which is what the coordinates of the center are, and the second of which is the length of the radius. Once you know the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius, you can simply come and substitute them into the formula, which is given to be x minus the x coordinate of the center squared, plus y minus the y coordinate of the center squared, is equal to r squared. Now, if you're looking at that formula and you're saying to yourself, that really reminds me of something that I've seen before, you're not alone. Because when I see that formula and I see the first item squared plus the second item squared is equal to the radius squared, I think to myself a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And if you were thinking along those lines also, you're right. The circle formula is a direct descendant of the Pythagorean theorem. While watching the video today, we really want to be able to do two things. We want to be able to use the center and radius in order to write the equation. And we want to work backwards and use the equation then to extract the length of the radius in the center. In this first example, they're giving us the equation of the circle. In this first example, they're giving us the equation of the circle, and they're asking us to use that equation in order to determine the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius. So in order to approach this, I'm going to start by recalling the general formula for the equation of a circle, which says x minus the x value of the, coord of the center squared plus y minus the y value of the center squared is equal to r squared, or the radius squared. And I'm going to start by kind of lining things up. I notice that the 3 and the h go together, the 6 and the k belong together, and the 24 and the r squared also kind of go together in this formula. And the only thing that I have to be really careful of here is I have to be careful of the signs. In my parentheses, each of these is being subtracted. So I need to say to myself, what number do I have to subtract from x in order to get an x plus 3? So I'm thinking the x value now has to be a negative 3, such that when I do x subtract negative 3, I end up with x plus 3 in the parentheses. y subtract what number is going to give me a y subtract 6 in the parentheses? Well, the y value of my center there has to be 6. And in this case, the r squared has to be equal to 24. And this one is a little bit confusing. But now I've just got this equation here. If r squared is equal to 24, then I know the value of r must be equal to the square root of 24. Because the number under the radical sign isn't a perfect square, we do need to simplify that radical. And we're going to simplify that radical by taking the largest perfect square factor of 24, which is 4. And I'm going to rewrite the radical 24 as root 4 times root 6, or 2 root 6. So the coordinates of my center now are negative 3 comma 6. Length of the radius in simplest radical form would be 2 root 6. The positives and negatives can be a little bit tricky until you start to work with them just a little bit more. In the next example, they're asking us to take the center, or take an equation, take a circle, whose center is at the origin, and whose radius is 2 root 3, and this time now they want us to go ahead and they want us to write that equation. Well, I'm going to have you recall that the origin has coordinates 0, 0. So what this really says, write the equation of a circle whose center has coordinates 0, 0, and whose radius has length 2 root 3. 
So again, I'm going to recall the general form for the equation of a circle. x minus the x-coordinate of the center squared, plus y minus the y-coordinate of the center squared, is equal to the radius squared. And again, whenever I have a hard time remembering this equation, I just think the first item squared plus the second item squared has to be equal to the third item squared, just like Pythagorean theorem. All right, so when I go to substitute my values into the equation here, I'm going to have x subtract the x coordinate of the center, so x subtract 0, and then I want to square it. y subtract the y value of the center, square it, so y subtract 0 squared, equals 2 square roots of 3 squared. And now I'm simply going to simplify this a little bit. x minus 0 is x, so this becomes x squared. y minus 0 is y squared. And in order to do the 2 root 3, I'm going to get my calculator out, except that when I plug this into my calculator, I'm going to be very careful to include those parentheses. Because I want to include or I want to square not only that square root of 3, but I want to square the length of the whole radius, the whole two square roots of three. So if I go to dig out my scratch pad here, I'm going to type in two square roots of three. And again, I want to square that whole entire radius, 12. In the interest of time, I'm not going to do this. But if you were to do that without the parentheses, you would find that without the parentheses gives you a different answer. So you want to make sure that you include the parentheses as your squaring numbers in your calculator. So our equation of that circle would be x squared plus y squared equals 12. In the last example, they give us a graph, and they're asking us to use the graph to determine the coordinates of the center, the length of the radius, and the equation of the circle. Well, the center of this circle, I can find by really drawing in any pair of diameters. To keep it easy, I'm going to draw in the diameter that goes along the x-axis and the, the diameter that goes along the y-axis. The two cross at 0, 0, so that must be the center of my circle. The length of the radius, I'm simply going to determine by counting up the number of boxes between the center and any point on the circle. In this case, it's 5. And then I'm going to use the center and the radius in order to write the equation. So again, my formula says x minus the x value of the center squared plus y minus the y value of the center squared is equal to the length of the radius squared. And then I'm going to come to my formula and I'm going to substitute in. So x minus 0 squared plus y subtract 0 squared equals 5 squared. Or in other words, when I simplify, x squared plus y squared equals 25. Now the next time you come back to class, we'll be doing some more practice substituting into the formula and simplifying and multiplying radicals and all sorts of good stuff. But for the time being, what I want you to do is take a few minutes and like always, think back upon what we've just done. And think about the key ideas and important understandings that you're going to need to remember from this video. And then once you do that, see if you can apply what you've learned in order to go, go ahead and determine some coordinates and some radii in that table below. And then see if you can write an equation for number three there on that next page.